Buffalo White Sox baseball. Brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller. Good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. Hey, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with another two games in our White Sox season, 2020 White Sox season, using the Stratomatic game engine and uh, the cards based on um, mostly the cards from 2019, but in some cases with rookies and players who might be expected to decline, yada, 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 altered cards that I had myself altered. So. The two games today are going to be against Texas. By the way, you like my uh, throwback, White Sox, Uni? Anyway, we are going to play, be playing Texas today at home. And if you remember in the last episode where I had the two games against Milwaukee, I mentioned that we were playing an awful lot of games at home. And that turns out to be absolutely true. We are actually starting this season with 22 straight home games. So uh, the games against Texas will be at home. Then I think we play Cleveland for like four games straight at home. And then we play Detroit again, four straight games at home. So that'll be like eight games against Detroit for the season all at home. So Detroit is probably like, whoa, what do we got to do? So, I mean, I'm sure it all evens out. We'll play Detroit at home the same number of times, and we'll play, you know, the Twins and all of them the same number of times at home in Cleveland. But it's just wacky that we get to start out 22 straight games to start the season at home. The next time we'll be on the road – will be like in game 23 and that'll be against the twins on the road in minnesota so uh yeah let me make sure my phone doesn't keep going off so that's where we are but today right now we got two games against texas so let's get into those uh play day and you can see the score is rolling in oh, i guess we didn't play that particular day let's see do we play yet no we're gonna have to uh hmm, i should have done this before but apparently we don't have games on any of these schedule days so i probably should have quick played those before this but it's always nice and there you go texas at chicago so they're going to uh pitch um kluber and we are pitching keichel and i believe that's about right i mean uh, last time last time dylan cease pitched so yeah i want to say that's right well anyway we'll go with it and everybody should be rested because they've had two or three games off so that shouldn't be an issue and you got shin su shu chu I, I don't know how to pronounce it i'll be honest with you so here is uh Elvis Andrus, and he flies out. So Keiko pitching well here. First two batters, and Gallo strikes out. So Texas comes away with nothing, and we have Lurie Garcia leading off. Strikes out. And again, if you're wondering where Lewis Robert is, he was injured for 15 games a few games ago, so he will not be making an appearance anytime soon. And we're going to swing away with Jimenez, and he is not going to single. 
So we got zero in the first, just like Texas did. Now they bring up Rough Ned Odor. And he strikes out. And that brings up Chineros. And he is going to fly out. Thank you. And that brings up Guzman. And he is going to hit a home run. Man. So Ronald Guzman takes Keichel deep for a one nothing lead for Texas. And Forsyth is up, and he is going to hit a single. Keep the inning alive for Texas. And that brings up Kiner Falefa. And he is going to be, he's going to line out. So, Tex, that's all for Texas in the uh, second, but uh, they did get a run. And that brings up Ben Canarcion. And he singles. That brings up Mendy with uh, Encarnacion aboard, and he strikes out. So Kluber pitching well. Now, if you know about the set, the 2019 set, you know that Kluber had a terrible card, and obviously I did not use that card. I actually reached back and used a card for him from 2018, and I may have altered it a little bit to make it not quite as good as the 2018 card, but he, I, I gotta believe he's gonna be way better in, uh, well, whatever the next season is that he, that Major League Baseball ends up playing. I gotta believe he's gonna be way better than he was last year. Short amount of time that he, uh, that he pitched last year before he broke his arm. Sin Shu Chu is gonna strike out here in the top of the third. Elvis Andrus is going to ground out. And that brings up Grandall for us as we move to the bottom of the third. I'm going to swing away with Grandall. And he walks. So, somehow we're playing Cuthbert today. I didn't notice that. I might have done something about that. Although I did make Cuthbert better, too, because based on what he was doing in spring training, he was tearing it up. But I guess uh, Moncada probably needs a day off. So Garcia strikes out, and we have two down with Engel up. And that's a single one, and that ain't going to happen. So we're out of the inning. This is a really a terrible lineup. We'll be lucky to win this game. Gallo um, is going to ground Garcia. And Odor is going to strike out. And that brings up Chineros. And he's hit by pitch. And that brings up Ronald Guzman, who homered on us last time, but strikes out this time. And that's it for Texas in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth, losing one nothing. Any anyone, just feel free to hit a home run. So Jimenez rips a single, and that brings up um, that brings up Ben Canarcion, who is going to strike out. And that brings up Mendick. And looks like he got a single. Yes, indeed. And I'm going to hold the runners because 55% don't like those odds. Abreu, come on, Abreu. Uh, he flies out. Two away. Bottom of the fourth. And Mazzara up. And Mazzara, their former guy, rips a single. 55%. Man. I'm going to send him. I got to send him because the offense today is not that good. And he did score, so thank, thank goodness. That brings it up. Grand Dahl, who strikes out. See? See about that? I knew. All right. Um, Keichel now has a new lease on life with a tie game, and he gets foresight to, to ground 
out to second base in his column. Kiner Falefa is going to hit it to left. And, of course, Jimenez, does he play that? He does. Wow. And then uh, Heineman is going to ground out to shorts. So we got Cuthbert up. Cuthbert walking. Brings up Garcia. He strikes out. Bottom of the fifth here. One out, one out, on, angle up, striking out. And Jimenez strikes out. Shin Chu Chu strikes out. So Keichel and Kluber, the K brothers, in more ways than one. Anders is out, and Gallo is ripping a double. Ripping it. Doubling the gap. He's shopping at the gap. And that brings up Odor. And of course, Odor has to hit a home run. Two run shot. That may do it for us. I mean, I don't see us coming back from. I mean, we had to do everything I could just to get us one run. So, Chavineros is out. And that brings us to the bottom of the sixth. I'll swing away with Encarnacion, and he strikes out. Mendic. Mendic flies out. Yeah, maybe this was the good Kluber card that I didn't even alter. I don't know. I probably should have made it a little worse, though. Fly ball to a brave and that's it. So that's it for us. We go down in the sixth. We're still losing 3-1. Guzman batting. And he'll be out. Forsyth is up. And he is hit by pitch and injured. Yeah, the rest of the game. Yeah, big deal. Kiner Falefa. Hit by pitch. So Keitel's out there just hitting everyone. Heinemann's up, and Heinemann strikes out. And that brings up Sin Chu Chu, and he strikes out. So, he got out of the seventh. I may bring in relief next game, but right now we're going to try Mazar's hand at hitting a home run, and uh, let's see if they rob it. I don't know if they can rob it on that. Maybe they do. Yeah. And they didn't, so it's gone. So it's three to two. We're closer. Grandall is up, and he hits a fly ball to left, and left is Chu, who sucks defensively. And that looks like it's going to be a base hit of some kind, and it's a single. So Cuthbert is up with no outs this whole time, and he doubles one to two single the blast. And Kluber's tired. Thank you. Get him out. I'm all for it. Bring in relief. Garcia batting against Chris Martin is going to be a home run one to four, but no, but it will be a double. And it will knock him at least probably only one run. Uh, I'm going to hold because we have no outs. So even with angle up. And he strikes out for the first out. We've tied the game, so we'd like to get something here, Jimenez. Did they cut the run off? Yeah, they did. They stopped the run from scoring. So, Encarnacion, you got to do something, buddy, and you don't. But we did tie the game. You probably should have sent that man the extra base, but with no outs and runners at second and third, you don't ever think you're not going to score at least one of those guys. But it didn't happen. So Andrus, and yeah, here we are. We're pitching Keichel in the eighth. That's fine. That's fine. I can do that. Gallo. Gallo looks like he's going deep.
All right, they got a 4-3 lead. Okay, now they got a 5-3 lead. All right, now we're in trouble. All right. Uh, all right, now Keiko is just getting its butt handed in. So uh, we're going out there. Yeah, Keiko's tired. I know. I could see it. All right, we're going to go out and we're going to get... Um, going to get Osage. I mean, we don't want to get any of the good guys because, I mean, this game is already done. Potentially, anyway. I mean, we're only losing by a run. But a single one? Are you kidding me? All right. Kiner Falefa's up, and he is going to fly out. So Osich does get us out of there, but uh, they now have a 5-3 to three lead, and Mendick is up. And he's going to ground out to second, potentially. But we'll see. Yeah, he's out. Abreu is up, swing away. Home run 1-3, to three, double. All right. Well, double, I'll take it. I mean, we're down by two, so one run wouldn't have tied the game anyway. Mazar is up, and he's not going to get us a hit. Get an out. And that brings up Grandall. And now he's going to go to the bullpen and bring in Leclerc. Great. And he lines it out. Grand all lines out. So we're going to the top of the ninth. Heineman's up. He strikes out. Chu is up. He grounds out. And Anderson is up. And he strikes out. Well, here it goes. This is for all of the marbles. Cuthbert is up at the plate. He strikes out. Garcia is up. Strikes out. And Engel is up. And he strikes out. And there you go. That's what we've got. So uh, that moves the Rangers to 6-5. and five. It moves us to 7-4. and four. And you can see Keuchel was pitching well for a while, but then he just fell apart there in the eighth. All right. So... Go to league stats just to see where we are in the division. Second place, three games back of Minnesota. But we're in second. Although you would hope that we would be. But anyway, we are in second place, three games back. Look at the uh, AL East. Wow. All right. So let's go. Let's go to the next game, play day. Did, uh, let's see what Minnesota did. Let's see. All right, they lost. Good, they lost to Cleveland. So maybe we can make up a game here and get to within two. And why is Cease the starter? Pretty sure we should be able to go to Giolito now with the days off, so... I'm going to do that, and let me see the lineup. This time, let me, I don't want to be caught off guard with no, you know, Chesler Cuthbert playing. Um, batting against Lynn, who's a righty, who's a 2R.
And he does have Moncada back in there. I'm going to move Engel down. Engel should not be batting up that high. Yeah. I'm going to put McCann in at DH instead of uh, Encarnacion. Give us some hitting. Okay, let's go. Chew is up. Nice day. Looks like we're to the day game. I love day games. Did I mention that before? And that's an out. Elvis Andrus is up, and he's going to fly out. And that brings up Danny Santana, who strikes out. Lori Garcia is up, and that's going to be a ground out. Moncada's up. He's going to swing away. Triple one to four single. It's going to be a single. One out single Moncada with James McCann up at the plate, and he strikes out. And that brings up a Abreu. And he is not going to get a single. He will instead get a line out and end the inning, and then Gallo batting against. Giolito strikes out. Odor pops out. Top of the second here, nothing, nothing. And Chinieros is up. And he's hit by pitch and injured. And he stays in the game. And that's going to be a fly ball center field for Heineman. He used to got, know a guy in the Navy named Heineman. I forget what his first name was. Yasmani Grandal is going to swing away. And he strikes out. Jimenez is up. And he's singling. Ripping it through. So we got one man on, one out. Mazzara up at the plate. Striking out. And that brings up Danny Mandy. And he strikes out. So we got Forsyth coming up for Texas, top of the third, in a scoreless game. And he strikes, Giolito strikes him out. Kiner Falefa. Isaiah Kiner Falefa hits the ball to third to Moncada. And he is out. Nice play by Moncada. And then Chu is up and walks. And that brings up Elvis Andrus. And it was a pass ball, and Andrews is still up, and he gets a single one to five, but no. It's a line out to Jimenez in, right in left field. So up we step with uh, with Engel ripping a single to lead off the inning. Lead off the bottom of the third. Garcia up. Come on, Garcia, man. Yes, single. So we got runners at the corners, Moncada up, and he strikes out. So we got Lynn on the ropes. We got to do something here. McCann. McCann with a single. Nice. And I'm going to hold the runners. I know that's not a great idea probably, but, and there's a strikeout for Abreu. And Grandall is up. And he's going to hit the ball to center. And that's Santana. And he might get it over his head. Looks like. Couldn't get it. No, he couldn't. So that's the second run. We're up 2 nothing, And Jimenez up at the plate. And he hits a three-run jack. 
So, fans, it is five nothing. Good guys. And yeah, Lance is tired. Lance Lynn is tired, obviously. So let's see who they bring in. They bring in Montero. Mazzara is up at the plate, and he is going to fly out to center. But we got a we put a five spot up there. So uh, now Giolito pitching to Santana, and that's a strikeout. Now he's pitching to Gal Gielin to Gallo, and that's going to be a fly ball center. But we got Mr. Engel Gold Glove Man up there. And that's going to be an out, and that brings up Odor. And Odor hits the ball to Abreu for the out. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with our 5 nothing lead, and let's see if we can add to it a little bit. Double 1-17 to 17 for Mendick. Love that. And it is going to be a double. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say yes. And yeah, he's now it's a triple. So now I'm, I mean, I was going to sacrifice him over, but I didn't have to because he took the extra base. Garcia up with one out and Mendick 90 feet away from scoring. And uh, that's not going to help. Maybe, maybe it does. It does. All right, so we got the run in. That's all I care about. Two outs. And there's a single one to five, but it's a line out. So, Chinero steps in against Giolito, and we have a 6 nothing lead now, and which kind of looks insurmountable with Giolito on the mound. Heineman up with one out, and he walks. And that brings up Forsyth. Scythe striking out. Lord of the Scythe. And now we got Kiner Falefa up, and he's going to hit a ground ball and end the inning. James McCann up at the plate, and he strikes out. Abreu up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second. That's Odor, and he's a three, and uh, he's out. And that brings up uh, Grandall, who I will swing away with, and he'll strike out. So we don't add to the lead there, but it is still pretty sizable. 6 nothing with Giolito going back out to the, the bump in the top of the sixth. Ground ball to Garcia at short, so I'm guessing Tim Anderson needed a rest. In fact, I don't remember seeing Tim Anderson last game either. The computer might be resting him. If you don't know, and if you haven't played this game, like in your own play-at-home leagues a lot, um, I have this on the 4025 setting. And when you do when you put put it on the 20 4025 set, the reason I do that is because the computer rests people on every team when the computer feels it and the, the players need rest and he plays other players, which is key for realism in the league. The problem is that he also will do that for your own team. And so in my case, um, Anderson isn't even available because he's probably tired and can't play, at least in the computer's opinion, and because of the 40-25. So swing away with Mazzara. Single one to 12 is going to be an out instead. So, I mean, I could put the setting on. There is a setting you can put it on where um, miners don't bring up the minors at, at all. Nobody from the minors ever. Um, and then in that case, I would be able to mandate who plays and who doesn't play on my team. And that's going to be a home run for Mendick. And we're back on the board again. But if I do that, then the computer with every other team will also do the same thing. The minors would never come up. Nobody would ever be tired. And um, the only time anybody would be replaced was when they were injured. And that would be it. And that's not realistic at all. 
So the only way for me to do that would be for me to go through all 30 teams and Gallo's walking to start off the seventh here. Is for me to go through all 30 teams every so often and bring people up and send people down myself so that everybody got the right, you know, a more realistic um, playing profile. But I don't want to mess. It's easier for me to let the computer do that. And he walks to Nieris with two hours. It's easier for me to let the computer do that and then just put up with the fact that he does it for my team as well. So I'm sure we'll see, and or um, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll see Tim Anderson back in a couple of games um, or, or even maybe next game. And this is a good time to do it, to sit him, because we're playing Texas, who is an out-of-division rival. And uh, we have Moncada hitting a home run. So, I mean, we're just kicking their butts now. So, McCann is up. He's going to swing away. He's going to fly out for the first out of the uh, bottom of the seventh. Abreu is going to be out. And Grandal, with two down, is flying out. All right, I'm going to sit Gili, though, now. I mean, he's had enough. We've, we've, we're in the seventh inning, and I'm going to bring in Jeff Fry. Going to bring in the Fry guy. Fry pitching to Forsyth. Ground ball to second. Kiner Falefa. Home run 1 to 16. Kiner Falefa getting into woe. No, he isn't because he doesn't have the power to hit a home run. So that brings up Chu. And Chu is going to strike out. Top of the eight for Texas here. And they're down a, a whole bunch. And uh, they walk. So yeah, it's five, six, seven, nine, nothing. And Santan is up and he's gonna fly out. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. Jimenez is up. Probably not gonna need a bottom of the ninth. He's out and Mazar is up. And Mazara got into one. Maybe a double. Yep. Mendick up at the plate. Flying out. And then Engel is up. And Engel is going to hit a ground ball to the short. That's Andrus. Probably going to make the play. And now we are in the top of the ninth. Texas down 9 nothing. Needing nine runs just to tie the game. And there's one away with Gallo being out and Odor up. And he strikes out. And that brings up Chineros. And he strikes out. So we split with Texas. Not really what we wanted, but, you know, that's what happened. So the Rangers are six and six, and we go to eight and four. So let's check the standings, league stats. And there we are. We move within two games, eight and four to Minnesota's 11 and three. So that's where we are. Hope you enjoyed it. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.